Hi, today I will like to talk about tack time and pitch time. What is tack time and pitch time? How to measure tack time and pitch time? Balance is at the heart of every lean manufacturing line. Balance is the key to the success of a lean manufacturing line. When the lean line operates, all processes complete work at the same rate. Even though individual manufacturing processes may require different work times, the lean line breaks all work times into equal amounts of work. Achieving balance among a variety of processes with different work times is accomplished by adding or subtracting the number of manufacturing resources to the process. When balanced, no one single process has more capacity than another. The lean manufacturing methodologies balance work based on the throughput volume of demand required on a particular process. Once throughput volume has been defined, the manufacturing processes are divided into equal amounts of work. While each manufacturing process for each product may have a different work content time, the lean manufacturing methodologies establish balance using a time-volume relationship called tact. What is tact time? The term tact time comes from the German word tactzeit, which loosely translates to rhythmic time, or keeping a beat. Tact time is a key concept in lean manufacturing. It is the heartbeat of a lean organization. Tact time is the rate of time needed to produce one quality part to meet customer demand. It is not a goal to be surpassed, but rather a target for which to aim. Tact time seeks to synchronize the pace of production with the pace of sales. Producing faster than tack time results in overproduction, the most fundamental form of waste. Producing slower than tack time results in bottlenecks, and customer orders that may not be filled on time. In summary, tack time is the heartbeat of manufacturing, it sets the pace. What are the benefit of tack time in lean implementation? First, it aligns manufacturing rate to customer demand rate. Second is it sets a standard rate that all operations can plan to and be measured against. Last but not least, tack time sets a regular, predictable pace that forms the foundation for standardized work. Every time tack time changes the standardized work changes. How to calculate tack time? Tack time is net available time divided by customer demand per day. It does not consider stoppages such as equipment problems, defects or other unexpected delays. It does not consider equipment downtime. The net available time is 480 minutes minus 30 minutes which is 450 minutes. For example, customers demand is 1100 complex circuit boards per day and a manufacturing plant operates 16 hours per day which equal to 960 minutes per day.4 breaks per day with 10 minutes each. The calculation of net available time shall exclude break time. The final net available time is 920 minutes. Remember that net available time is the amount of time available for work to be done. This excludes break times and any expected stoppage time, for example, scheduled maintenance, team briefings and other. Next, convert the net available time into seconds. It gives us 55,200 second of net available time. The tack time is net available time divided by customer demand per day. The tack time is 55,200 seconds divided by 1100 units and the tack time is 50.2 seconds. Tack time of 50.2 seconds means production requires to produce one unit of product for every 50.2 seconds. Tack time is the demand rate of your external customer for your products. It signifies how fast you have to make products to meet your customer demand. Once you calculate tack time, you can effectively set your value added processes to meet this customer demand. In essence, tack time is used to pace lines in the production environments. Tack time is an essential component of cellular manufacturing. The work balance line chart shows that cycle time is either exceed or longer than tack time. Balancing all cycle time to tack time result in just-in-time process design. Examine all the specific activities occurring in each process. Time studies, motion studies, and other lean tools often provide most the ideas for improvement. Ideally, the cycle time shall closure to tack time. 
Balancing all cycle time to tag time result in just-in-time process design. Tact gives you a starting point to think about balancing the workload across work steps. Producing to the pace of customer demand, no faster, no slower, when the work steps are in balance, this produces maximum productivity and saves cost. When people are out of balance, they fall. When a process is out of balance, it fails. When customer demand is high, tack time is low, and more operators are utilized. When customer demand is low, tack time is high, and fewer operators are utilized. This frees up operators to work on other processes or on improvement initiatives. What is pitch time? Pitch time is the product of the tack time and the pack out quantity. Pitch is the amount of time, based on tact, required for an upstream operation to release a predetermined packout quantity of work in process, WIP, to a downstream operation. For example, the tact time is 60 seconds and packout quantity is 20 pieces. The pitch time is 1,200 seconds or 20 minutes. For a variety of reasons, it is not always practical to produce to tack one piece at a time, but it is possible to produce a small batch of something in some multiple of the tack time based on the quantity produced. In general, pitch time is used to determine the optimal workflow quantity in those cases when manufacturing cannot to move work units through the value stream at the true tack time pace. Pitch establishes workflow for a work unit to be moved from the beginning to the end of the value stream. Pitch creates a sense of urgency for the lean office. Without it everyone will produce at his, her own schedule, or what he, she feels is reasonable. As soon as customer demand is determined, the organization must make the commitment to meet it. If demand can't be met with current resources and processes, lean tools such as buffer or safety resources should be used. A buffer resource ensure meeting customer demand when customer trends vary. Safety resources ensure that customer demand is met when internal constraints disrupt the process flow. Please like and subscribe my video so that you won't miss out my next video about Lean Six Sigma and operation management. Show quoted text.